Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and we're back with another video. I got some new headbands. Um, they're coming on the way. So we only rock the pink one right now. Um, you guys really like the headband. So I was just like, all right, got to please you guys. Going to get some more. So we got some on the way. But today what we got is actually a really, really dope video. We have a 1,216 gene right now, which is actually the world record previously held by Imunez, which was, I believe, 1,197. Um, so we, we've done this on the Friday. It took him two weeks. We've done this in about four or five days. So we're super excited. Obviously, we're going to go for the rank 35. Hopefully, we can get it later on today. And I'll make a video tomorrow. Or if not, hopefully, I get it tomorrow. But the grind has been super, super, sl not slow, but the matchmaking has just been atrocious. We basically won every game. If we look over here at the battle log, you guys can see it's just basically straight wins. We got a couple losses, but this is over four hours and 25 minutes worth of straight playing. We, we only have these many games. This isn't a lot of games at all. So we're going to go over some replays. Um, we're just going to, I'm just going to pick the most competitive games, the most recent. Um, and yeah, let's just get into the games and let's show you guys exactly how I got this gene. Okay, so we'll start off with this game over here. It's myself, Minwoong, and OG. Minwoong is pushing his spike to rank 35. He has his currently one game short of 1200. He also has a really good channel. It's the second biggest Korean channel, I believe, in Brawl Stars. He posts, he posts some really high-end Brawl Stars. So I'm going to put his link in the description below. Make sure you guys check him out and subscribe to him. He's a great player. Um, and we're also facing with OG. You guys already know OG. No intro needed for him. He's going to go down over there, but I'm pretty sure he got double lane. I wasn't really paying attention. So we're facing a Mortis, a Rosa, and a Nita. So they likely don't have a mid right now. Um, I'm just trying to tap this rose and get as close as possible so I can take it out. Going to be able to do so. My goal as the gene is basically just to control the gems. I'm not allowed to die. That is the biggest rule. You don't die as the mid. I play every game super, super, super passive. I have really good lanes, so I let my lanes do a lot of the killing. I play it safe. I chip. I don't allow the opponents to regen, but my goal basically is just not to die. Um, obviously... We want to play it safe. We're gonna using our pulls for um, really good opportunities in which we know it won't be risky. You guys saw OG went down over there. I could have pulled the Rosa, but I decided not to since OG was dead. Minwoong holding that lane really well. And OG, very important with a Brock on the right side since Brock isn't at all meta here, is to break the walls and OG does that over there. So we have all the gems we need. Um, and, you know, Mortis is going to go for us. We're going to be able to pick up that kill. We're doing a great job getting the kills. Um... Not much to see over here, just some really easy kills. Um, the Mortis is going to come down, try and go for us, but we're just going to get that ball and take it out quickly. And that is going to be the first game. So that got us from 12.01. This is our first game at 1200 to 12.04. It's plus 3, minus 12 here, and each matchmaking is 10 minutes. So if you lose one game, that's 40 minutes worth of time, assuming you win every other game. It's absolutely brutal. The grinds here are tough. Luckily, we haven't lost since about... 1,155 ish range so we haven't had to really tilt that much we've been doing really well but you know that's the game that's what's at stake every single time so although we're a strong team there's no messing around even if it's against weaker opponents such as the ones we got this game which aren't really on our level just because we don't want to risk any loss so let's hop into the next game let's show you guys some more gameplay let's get into it okay so I decided to skip over one game just because it was really uncompetitive um, sometimes when you, you're in matchmaking for like 15 minutes, usually it's like 10 minutes, but sometimes you get a 15 minute game and they just throw you with a random team that's completely uncompetitive. So for example, we're at like 1200 right now, they'll give you a team that's all like 650 or something just because we've been in queue for so long. Um, I don't want to show you guys that game, that's just us running over a team, so obviously we're not going to show that. So over here we're going against Uncle Slabo, um, a bow and a spike. So spike is better on the left, uh, left side. Obviously curveball is the preferred star power. That's going to be used and curveball spins in a clockwise rotation. So if you're on the right side and you're going for an RNG for someone on the left, it's not going to hit because it goes clockwise. But if somebody's hiding behind that wall, for example, the one that Min Wung is, right be is beside right there or the one that the spike is beside up there, it'll go around and it'll be able to hit them since it's a clockwise uh, spin. OG's doing a great side or a great job holding his lane over there. Again, we're just chilling in the middle, not making risky plays, helping out our teammates win lanes, but not going too far up. Unless we know 100% that it's safe. Bow right over there. I'm going to miss my pull by like a third of a tile. But we're just going to pick up the gems. OG's got two. We're playing this again. 
very, very safe. Really good super over there by OG. Main rune doing amazing. And we didn't even have to do anything at the end of that game. That was really, really good. So we're going to finish it off there. I mean, OG with a little bit of BM just going into the uh, bow shot alone. That's going to end it. I'm going to show you guys now, I think, three more games. Two of them are really, really competitive with really, really good players. So let's hop into it and let's show you guys what happened. So this is a game against three. 1k so we're going to show two more games just because the next two are actually really really intense and i want to show you guys them and get into detail versus just showing more games um so we're facing zeus who's one of the best hard uh not tara sorry genes in the world previously known as akil something that's really important is that you get your super before the other genes so i honestly just gave up my life because i knew og or min Wu would be able to get that kill and og and min Wu were able to clear off the lane so really good on them i have my super zeus does not and even though he got it, we have the four to nothing lead right now. We're facing Feli. You guys know Feli really well. And Phil Tara, he's been on Ray's channel a ton. He's on a lot of YouTubers' channels. He's a really, really good Tara. Known as the best Tara in the world. So obviously it's going to be a tough win. Zeus has a super. So obviously I have to play super far back. I can't go for this gem over here because I know Zeus is somewhere in that grass up there. And he will go for the pull. I waited for Minwing's spike super to go down so I can go and safely pick up the gems. But you can see a dynamite has high DPS can get you at any time. A Tara pull and a Jean pull. So I'm not going up at all. I'm just chilling, staying back until one of my lanes win. Because I know they eventually will. Uh, Minwoong is going to go for... Or, sorry, Phil's going to go for a play over there. Unfortunately, it's not going to work. And Phil's going to be pushed onto our side. So me and Minwoong are able to take him out. And at this point, uh, we have three, uh, three gems on the field. So we're able to pick them up if, we, um, if Zeus wasn't there. Um, he just goes down over there. Again, we're playing this game super safe. They're very high DPS, so we don't want to go down. Feli thinks we're somewhere in these bushes, so he's going to continuously shoot, but we're not going to give him any shots. Again, Zeus still has his super, so I have to stay far away. I knew that he knew where I was because I um, went back over there into the bushes, so I just went for the pull. Unfortunately, he has a star power that does 1,700 per hit, so he was able to three-tap me. But that's fine because Mingwoon and OG are able to clean up over there. So currently, it's like 10 to 4 six i think the total score is so that's enough for us so we're gonna move back over here og's tapping zeus very well it's very important that we get him down because he does have the pull um i'm gonna go for Feli over there be able to take him out pretty easily and we're og's gonna be able to take out zeus so that's gonna be the game so you guys saw he's a very passive gene he's only gonna make pulls when he knows 100 percent that he's gonna get the kill so that's why i played super super passive that's what i picked up after I've played, I've, I've played him a bunch of times. He's been under different names, but you get to kind of pick up on the play style of other people. That's what I picked up on him. So I just played it super safe because I knew he wouldn't pull me unless he 100% knew he was going to hit it. So we're going to go into one more game. It was super, super competitive. Probably my best game of the day. Not my best game, but probably the most competitive game of the day. My most recent game, actually. Let's hop into it and let's show you guys what happened. So this is the game over here. Again, same team. We're going to be going up against Drage, Corey, and Sai which is a Nova team. They're very, very strong players. Uh, they play, they play in basically every competition. That's how you guys know they're strong. Um, but yeah, they're running also a much better comp than we are. Jean is probably the better mid to bow, although a lot of bows think that they can outplay a Jean on this map. Um, I'd probably still take Jean over bow. Um, Rosa obviously is amazing on this map. I knew Drage was going to be over there, so I got the easy point. And uh, Carl is probably one of the, one of the if not the strongest brawler on this map. So it should be pretty easy for him. I saw Corey go out of the bush over there, so I was able to tap it and not let him fully regen. Drage is going to sneak onto OG over there and get the kill. Corey's going to squeak out alive, and so is Sai. Drage is chilling in the bushes over there. Doesn't get hit by that spike super, but he's going to go down anyways. You can see Corey's on us and wants to use his super, but we're doing 1,700 a shot right now, so we'd be able to pretty easily kill him. We're just going to pull him through there because we get two shots and almost fully regen our super. So it's fine. Uh, we're just triggering these mines over here. Don't want to get hit by any mines, obviously, even though we did get clipped at the very end. OG has Drage on him right here. And this is kind of a questionable play. Drage had his super, but he instead decided to pop it when he was two shot to me. I don't really understand why he did that, but he was going for it. Anyways, at this point, they're up eight to three. We haven't had really any much possession throughout the entire game. I still have my pulse, so Super Psy can't really go for the gems. It looks like Drage wants to pick up both gems over here. So me and OG really start to focus him on this top right side. I'm trying to get a pull on side, but he's not giving me any um, he's not giving me any room to, just like I did to Zeus the last game. Um, I'm just not giving him an opportunity. So really good playing over there by side. They have bow mines in the middle, so it's really hard to pick up these gems. We just can't do it. Uh, Corey's going to go for a spin. We have to just leave Ming Wound back there. We're able to pick up a kill over there on Drage. I'm able to hit my shot over there on Corey, which is a huge shot. If I missed that, he would have been full health coming from the side. 
probably would have been a GG. But at this point, we have some possession. There's one bow mine left in the middle. I'm trying to trigger it. I'm able to get it over there. Gonna extend up. We're gonna take the 10 to 8 lead. OG's doing a great job on his side. I'm trying to help out Minwing because I'm I'm confident OG will win his lane over there. I'm continuing to tap Corey. Sai is gonna pick up one of the uh, one of the gems, put mines out, so I can't go forward. And Drage is gonna pick it up. So they're all decently low. We definitely have more HP than they do. Um, Good kill over there by Ming Wung on uh, Corey. We're going to sneak up over here and grab a gem. Unfortunately, I forgot that there were mines back here. So I went a little bit too deep into them. Luckily, it didn't matter. Ming Wung is going to pick up a gem over there. And Corey does have this shield uh, spin. So that's something huge. He's going to land a shot on me. Go for me. And Ming Wung almost, almost threw the game over here. But he was lucky. He was able to pick up the kill. Ming Wung is going to pick up the gems over there. It's a little bit panicky. Currently, it's 11 to 3, but they have a bunch of gems over there. I pulled Rage, my first pull of the game, my only pull, oh, sorry, my second pull of the game, sorry. And we're able to pick up all of the gems that are on the uh, on the field. Corey's going to go in, he's going to, uh, Minwoon's going to go really high up left, which is a really bad decision, because if he would have died, we would have been screwed. But we managed to win that game. That was a really, really good game, very uh, top end level of ladder. Um, that was really insane. So GG's to them. That was awesome. And that is going to be it for the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this extremely high level gameplay. Um, I'm definitely going to be going for the rank 35 gene, which I want to solidify myself as the first ever gene to ever do so. You guys know I love gene. It's my favorite brawler. It's probably my best brawler. And I'm, uh, no, I'm most recognized for my gene play. So I obviously would love to be the first one to do it. So that's going to be it for the video. Hopefully tomorrow we have the rank 35 gene video for you guys. And if not, I apologize, but we'll get another banger out. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's going to be it for me today. And if you guys enjoyed, leave a like and let me know in the comment section below if you enjoyed. That's going to be it. I will catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.